Hey guys, just doing a few uh, recaps and resistor replacements one by one. Check out this configuration. Disregard the uh, new resistor, but uh, you can see the existing resistor 470K and 220K ties right back to the uh, capacitor in midair that uh, connects back to the volume control. Seems unusual for that to be done at the factory, but if you look at the terminal strip that was used, then uh, that's really the only uh, mounting point they had. So I'm going to uh, attempt to uh, modify a terminal strip and uh, come up with a, a better solution. There's a better look at the uh, terminal strip configuration at this point. Just behind that, you can see the uh, on top electrolytic can that's uh, been bypassed. Get this electrolytic out of the way for now. The uh, negative side tying back into the can dome at this point. I believe I've got room to uh, mount this. I'm gonna just go cut the terminal strip at this point here and this point here and I think I can squeeze that in there I believe this should uh, work out okay there we go let me get the uh, new capacitor put in place and the uh, resistors tied in I'll be using a uh, 500k in lieu of a uh, 470k that's the closest value uh, should still be fine there and my new 220K resistor. And capacitor um, C8 should be a 0 0.01 microfarad. Take a little alcohol with an acid brush, clean this area up. The old wire can be just a little challenging to solder up. I'm going to place just a little bit of flux and place just a, a bit of solder in here for now because, again, I'll be using this connection point for my B- minus side of the uh, power supply. So just enough to hold it in place for now. And I'll come back and clean that up whenever I place the uh, electrolytics in. So a neater method and procedure versus what I uh, found with the uh, two resistors just uh, high in the air with the uh, capacitor floating. As you guys can see, I'm making a little progress on the uh, chassis getting the electrical restoration behind me. Uh, it's really pretty simple. You can see I've got my uh, oscillator coil back in and all the uh, resistors and capacitors uh, replaced to this point that needs to be. I've still got this section over here by the output tube and the uh, B plus side, but uh, very little work left. And then a little more cleaning on the chassis that I'll show as well. But uh, moving a little bit quicker on the electrical restoration than I first thought I'd be able to. Let me uh, flip this thing around. I'll show you the uh, top side. You can see with the transformer removed, I was able to uh, clean up the uh, top of the chassis pretty well. And uh, there's just some rusting in this area. You can see we're down to uh, bare metal. And then, of course, I took the oscillator coil out so I could do a thorough cleaning on it and be able to get to some of the other uh, capacitors, resistors that were uh, kind of crammed in the section by the uh, 6 Alpha 8 G tube. And I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to uh, pull these filters out for now. Where the wire was frayed on the grid wire, I just put some heat shrink on that. So um, I may pull these out as well. A little more cleanup on the uh, cans and I'll make that decision and then I'll look to see if I'm going to uh, 
restuff this uh, capacitor can. It's probably an old dry electrolytic, so they may use that space and uh, free up some room underneath for the new E caps. You guys saw the uh, tuning condenser. It uh, cleaned up really well. It's showing up. While replacing the capacitors around the tone control, you guys can see the uh, tone control or potentiometers had better days. You can see how erratic it is through the uh, rotation. Looks like I might be in luck not to have to take this thing apart. You can see there's an access point here. I want to just flood the potentiometer with cleaner and rotate it back and forth. And I know you guys can't see the meter now, but it's uh, starting to uh, act a little better. That's all it required. It was a, a nice flush out with some contact cleaner and a little WD-40 as well around the uh, stem itself. So I think we're gonna be in good shape here. Seems to be pretty smooth through the uh, rotation at this point. It's worth uh, trying to save. If it doesn't work out, I'll uh, remove it and uh, try to get the back off and do some additional cleaning. And you can see uh, putting new grommets in around the uh, brass spacers. I think I've uh, demonstrated this before, but it's been some time. It's a handy little tip. You can see I've got the washer placed here on the pencil. Pencil point on my uh, fastener. And I just drop it down on. And we'll do the same thing for the uh, nut to uh, guide the uh, process. Just something to keep in mind if you've got those uh, awkward fasteners. You can see the new grommets in place now for the uh, tuning condenser. Let me go ahead and get this thing soldered back in. Use just a drop of uh, flux. I had already cleaned the uh, connections before applying solder. I'm just going back over to uh, remove some of the uh, flux residue and inspect my uh, solder locations. Everything looks good. Let's get these others uh, back in place. Apply just a drop or two of flux at this location. I'm going to try to heat this up and uh, put a bead of um, solder at that location. I may have to get the big gun out for this. Uh, probably not. Hold that in place just for a, a few minutes. Let me uh, repeat that process over here on this side and I'll bring you guys back. I think we're good. A little cleanup. It's probably one of the uh, dirtiest chassis I've worked on in a while. Not sure how it got so nasty underneath. You know, when I found this thing, the uh, grommets were completely gone. This thing was just bouncing around metal to metal. You can see how free the uh, tuning condenser is now. 
Still got to uh, secure my uh, dial belt, which I haven't done. But um, I can go ahead and move forward with the uh, restoration at this point. Do some uh, preliminary test when it comes time to uh, power up without the uh, belt. Then I can get the uh, remaining dial assembly on as well, which still needs to be cleaned up and uh, make a uh, gasket as well. Come up with something on that. You can see how great the uh, chassis actually cleaned up. A lot better than I really anticipated. One uh, bare spot right here at this location. I want to just uh, throw some Renaissance wax over the top of that and uh, give that some uh, added protection. Up next, I'll uh, secure the uh, power transformer get it mounted and uh, get the two new electrolytics in place. I've built a, a new can to mount at this location. I'm at a point now in the restoration where I can go ahead and clean the tube sockets really well with some deoxid. And a little tube testing, looking for shorts first, followed by the health of the tube. And it's been a while, but all the uh, tubes check good. If you know what you know now, what you have scheduled this game. He's interviewed Matthew McConaughey. I do say go tired. And he's taken on Big Blue Nation. He's just completely taken the window. All the B-plus voltages were verified. They look good. And IF alignment and RF alignment are still pending at this point. Three, four, eight, seven. Seven topics. Because we had a few pre-recorded shows because of my trip to uh, Poland. Any subject you want to talk to me about, anything... Than I did yesterday, and hope it'll be a blessing to you. Now you think it's real bad. You think the difficulties you're facing. Really great performance off of a 10 foot wire antenna here in the shop. About how to navigate the troubled, crooked path between grief. October 2nd at 11 a.m. featuring David Robinson, then again at 6 p.m. featuring Paula White and Monday. You know it, ladies. Thanks for watching. More to come soon.